Hey guys, so I got a few requests to do a little test here between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 Pro uh, and the Zenfone uh, 3 from Asus. So we're going to check out the performance here, the gaming, as well as the day-to-day -day, uh, like uh, performance. Uh, I think the Redmi Note 3 Pro is a little bit cheaper than the Zenfone 3, but obviously uh, the Zenfone 3 does come with some advantages. Uh, like 4K video recording. There's also a little bit different in terms of the build quality. Uh, metallic, obviously, with the Redmi Note 3 Pro versus glass. Mm -hmm. And I probably uh, say that the software experience is a bit more stable on the Zenfone, whereas uh, we're still waiting for Marshmallow, I think, on the uh, Redmi Note 3 Pro. I've looked on the MediaWire forums, but I couldn't seem to see a flashable ROM. Uh, we're getting the Snapdragon 650, 3 gigs of RAM in the Redmi versus uh, 4 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 625. Mm. So you can see the uh, Xiaomi a little bit behind the Asus starting them up. And both of them are on the performance mode. Uh, the Asus you can put on in the battery. So we're just going to see here. And so far it seems that the Redmi is a little bit ahead here. I'm pretty much all of them. Probably been at the gym while I've not been using it. So even though it is a uh, lollipop, you can see the Redmi is uh, very fast. I think the Snapdragon 650 is obviously based upon Cortex A72. So you're going to uh, really enjoy that day to day. Whereas this one, uh, even though it's on the uh, 16nm architecture, I think it's the Cortex cores aren't quite as fast. Oh, Zenfone. So the Zenfone loads the game that little bit faster here. Uh, we'll just have a look at another one to see if we can see how the memory uh, compares on both of them. So start a new game. So Zenfone seems to be uh, doing a bit better here when it comes to the games for some reason. There's just one more as well, I think we have Mortal Kombat. one not much activity coming from either of them but my money is on the Zen phone will it perform here oh no I was wrong so the Xiaomi has come back here So quite uh, interesting, I think the Xiaomi you could see for most of them there uh, was a little bit uh, faster. We've got a weird thing happen here with the Asus. Uh, let's see if we can just get rid of that. I don't want to see that. There we go. Uh, so I'm probably going to go up to the uh, the Xiaomi there, which I wasn't really expecting, uh, which is quite nice if you ask me. 
there was two a little bit better on the Zen phone, obviously the games, but uh, we just have a look at the web browsing. Oops, I didn't do that at the same time. Let's try that again. So let's go. So this is an overview page and you can see the Redmi seems to load the content a little bit faster here whereas the Asus has gone a bit crazy Ugh, Gary Lineker naked I'm not going to unsee that uh, where is uh, a link I can click on here Let's see again Redmi seems to be a little bit faster here Try GSM Arena. That one a bit similar. Phone Arena. Again, very similar with these mobile optimized ones. Uh, a little bit faster though, for clicking on the actual link. One more to decide it. WWE go faster here. Uh, so if you ask me, I think the uh, Xiaomi has taken this maybe. Hang on, let's try a different link. But you know the, the uh, Zen phone's no slouch in itself. Uh, we can just round off looking at the multitasking performance. As I said, this is 3 gigs of RAM versus 4 gigs. So a little bit of an advantage, obviously, with the Zen phone. Also, you're getting uh, you know, more up-to-date software here. don't know what's happening with Pinterest. Oops, don't know how I did that. <laughs> this is the problem when you have like uh, horizontal multitasking. Let's try. Uh... So to me, I think the Zen phone is coming with it a little bit faster here overall. Not amazingly faster though. I'm pretty surprised that uh, the show me is keeping it in memory, which is good. Let's try the games here. Uh, so we do have a difference here with this one staying in memory, whereas the show me reloaded the game. Again. So you can see the memory management uh, has gone to pot here on the Xiaomi, unfortunately. Uh, so overall, it seems that we do have uh, faster when it comes to the app opening with the uh, Xiaomi. Oh, we have this issue again. A uh, little bit faster on the browsing, I think, as well. But when it comes to multitasking right now, uh, you're probably better off with the the uh, Zen phone. Wow, this one's gone mad. Let's just go back into it again. But obviously, as I said, you know the Zen phone is a little bit more expensive here. You would expect a little bit better performance. I probably would have preferred the uh, Snapdragon 650 or 52 though. You know, in the uh, processing. Department. I think if you want the raw performance, the Xiaomi will have you know a little bit better there. But uh, this the six twenty five is you know pretty good in itself. It seems to be a little bit better than the average six series processor because of the you know uh, new architecture, which is good. Uh, in terms of the other stuff, obviously we don't get to nap draw on the uh, Xiaomi skin. I do actually enjoy this Xiaomi skin though. It's very 
you know, pastely and uh, colourful, nice UI. Uh, so it's just a little bit unstable though compared to other manufacturers. Like for example, you see the uh, game was playing the music there uh, in the, the background for some reason. Also, uh, you know, software updates seem to be very slow uh, with this particular device. Uh, in terms of Asus, again, you know, the software updates aren't the fastest, but I think the uh, software is a little bit more cohesive here. Uh, obviously, we're getting the latest Android Marshmallow, and if you can't afford the Zenfone 3 uh, 5.5 inch, there is the 5.2 inch, which comes with similar kind of specification, so that is another option. I think the battery is a little bit smaller though on the Zen phones, obviously. So if you're looking for a stayer, uh, this 4000 mAh battery is godlike when it comes to that. Uh, in terms of the cameras, very uh, nice performance from the Zen phone. You're getting 4K video recording, which is very rare to see. Uh, but uh, I'd say uh, it's uh, you know superior day in day-to-day -day use compared to the Redmi's, which is more budget, even though it's a little bit better than the standard Redmi Note 3. Uh, both have fingerprint scanners, very solid, you know, no issues with that. Uh, the build, I'd say, is a little bit more durable on the uh, Redmi going forward. You know, I'd be a bit more comfortable taking it into dangerous areas. Uh, so that is something to consider if you want to keep your phone for a while. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little comparison here between Redmi Note 3 Pro and the uh, the Resen Phone 3. If you've got any questions, do let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.